Hi, this is Kushal Isha, Senior Product Engineer from Supermicro. Today I want to introduce Supermicro Redfish RESTful API. Here I am using Postman plugin from Google Chrome Store. And on the left side, I have a collection of samples saved here to endless data coming from Supermicro servers. At this time, I'll be showing just few examples. I would start with get operation of root servers. This is a URI for root resource with PNC IP address followed by Redfish V1. We are using get operation. Let's send the request. Here is the data written from root API. It also written status code 200 OK. That means everything is fine. It displays all the reference links which, which will help to discover further data from Supermicro servers. Next example I want to show here is to get processor information from your system. It will show all the CPU information like CPU model, speed, cores, threads. Now, next example I want to show here is thermal and sensor information. It will show all your temperature values, fan speed, sensor information like threshold values, status of your temperature and many more. Next one I want to show you is manager URI. Manager is your BMC. It will show all your BMC information. Reference links. And OEM links as well. This will show you all Supermicro implemented OEM features. Like Syslog, SMTP, SNMP, LDAP. So user can configure those operations using Redfish RESTful API. Let me show you next example of patching LTAP operation. So you can configure following values using patch operation. Send the request and you should be receiving 200 OK. That means you have configured successfully. You can go back and check it. Alright, so it's there. So next, I want to show you post operation. Here I am resetting log service using post operation. After sending the request, you are expecting 200 OK. You can also post manager configuration. You can reset manager configuration. Supermicro will support Redfish RESTful APIs on its next generation and future server product line. Thank you for watching this video.